sentient beings in the universe, I send this message. I am Bumblebee from the planet Cybertron, and this is a warning of the highest urgency. Our world was created by a miraculous force called the Allspark. With the Allspark, there was no strife, no inequity, and no need for war. In my lifetime, and that of a generation before me, we knew only peace. A peace that flourished under the reign of Optimus Prime and of Lord High Protector Megatron. At first, Prime and Megatron ruled as equals, the one fair, the other firm. Then something changed in Megatron. And what happened next, none of us saw coming. He struck at us from within, his goal to possess the all-powerful Allspark for his own twisted purpose. Those of us loyal to Optimus Prime swore to defend the Allspark at all costs. None of our lives matter. The Allspark is all. With the Allspark, new life can arise. Whether here or elsewhere, only a trusted few know this, but preparations are underway to send the Allspark into deep space. Better that than allow Lord Megatron to possess it, to corrupt it. Remember, as long as there is hope, there is life. When the time came, I had to do what was necessary to defend the Allspark from Megatron. Prime, you fool! Even now you underestimate me! My job is done! The Allspark is finally beyond your reach! You! You have cost me the Allspark! You! It seems I must do this the hard way. Though it may take longer, the result will be the same. On the day I claim the Allspark, my lord, all of Cybertron will fall, and the universe itself will tremble! My arm is eventually reattached, but my voice capacitor is shattered beyond repair. It is decided we too must venture out beyond Cybertronian space to find the Allspark before Megatron. I still wonder, did I do enough? Perhaps, like Megatron said, all I did was delay the inevitable and perhaps help spread our war to other worlds. It is near. It calls to me. The Allspark! anything but to me. The matter beneath my feet is both unknown and unstable. Too late. I realize my own mass and external body temperature spell my downfall. No. The Allspark. Not when I'm so close! Something under the ice, Captain. Whatever it is, it set the dogs off something rotten. Hmm, it's big. Must be down, what, 10, 15 feet? Winky, hand me a pick. Captain Woodwinky, wait. We've had more than our share of bad luck this voyage. Perhaps it's the fates telling us to leave well enough alone. Sorry, Danko, but I didn't come all this way to leave well enough alone. I tell you, I saw the face of the devil. Its eyes burned. And that was the last thing that I saw. Hmm. 
That's not quite true, is it, Captain Witwicky? In fact, according to those members of your crew we interviewed, you retained a measure of sight for some three months after the incident in the Arctic Circle, during which time you filled no less than 176 sheets of these papers with these curious designs. Care to tell us what they mean? Mean? I... I, I was possessed! That thing looked into my soul. I saw the future. There war. Our world. Yes, well, we'll get back to you. Well? Irredeemably insane. Brought on by the extreme rigors of the voyage. At least that's what we'll put out. So, you believe him then? Oh yes. He saw something. It's just a matter of... What exactly? What about Woodwicky's personal effects? Uh, they can go to the family after all. He's hardly likely to be needing these. When do we leave? Morning tide. The legislature has granted us unlimited funds. I'd kiss your wife and children if I were you. You may not be seeing them for some time. Call it intuition, but I have a feeling that after this one, nothing will ever be the same again. Where is he? Where'd you think? Oh, he's talking to it again, is he? Uh-huh. Downright strange, if you ask me. I didn't. Won't be long now. As soon as the environment dome is complete, we can begin the excavation properly. And you and I, we're going to make history. You what? No, no, honestly, I don't think he'll care what you found in Colorado. Wild horses couldn't drag him away from his so-called mega man. Symbols, you say? I don't... Oh. I thought that'd get your attention. Whatever's down there is not only generating more power than Chicago, it's covered with the same symbols your Captain Witwicky got all worked up about. Quite something, isn't it? Yes, I suppose it is. You were there, weren't you, when they dug him out of the ice? Yes, I was there. In many ways, Project Mega Man has been my life's work. And now he's coming here to the Hoover Dam. Yes. Do you know what Captain Archibald Whitwicky was purported to have said after they dragged him screaming from that icy crevasse? No. What? Mine eyes have seen the glory. I believe I know what he meant. Do you think they'll come? Others? Well, not in my lifetime. Maybe not even in yours, but they will come. We could pour another six million tons of concrete on top of it, and they'd still sniff it out. If they do find it. Not if. When? I've arrived in the Milky Way galaxy and intercepted communications from intelligent beings. I feel the old spark is close. Uplink enabled. Downloading images to your VTP site now. Roger, Hubble. Processing data stream. Give me the watch, Commander. It's confirmed. We have a visitor. We sectioned all of Hubble's routine surveillance footage of Mars for the immediate period before and after the planet fall. As you can see, it's what we've been waiting for. Same species? Looks that way. As far as we can tell, it arrives under its own steam within some kind of space-going carapace. On touchdown, it transformed. Then Mega Man has a relative? Exactly. Tactical teams are on standby. As soon as the visitor makes his move, we make ours. Now that is what I call a sand trap. Hilarious. This is him, right? NBE2? Right. But where is he? We tracked him the entire way down and had the impact area secured within 10 minutes. He should still be here, inside our perimeter. What's over there, beyond those trees? I-64. Come on, come on! Damn. Get 
enemy satellite surveillance. The target is mobile. I repeat, target is mobile. Show me. Here's the specific grid vector surveillance footage you wanted, based on your rough time frame. I've enlarged and enhanced the image. What? What am I supposed to be looking at? I'll freeze the image. There. Yellow Chevy Camaro number one. We figure it for uh, 75 or 76. Then exactly 58 seconds later, Chevy Camaro number two. Oh, well, I'll be our boy's a mimic. He must have, what, scanned the first Camaro and then transformed. I want a team of six scrutinizing every inch of traffic camera footage from I-64 West. Try and track his progress. Where do you think he's headed? No idea. Chances are he doesn't either. But we have to assume he has a wherewithal to find his way there. My legacy? I have a legacy? That's right, son. Courtesy of my great-grandfather. Your great-great-grandfather, Captain Archibald Wood Wiki. He was an explorer. Fantastic! What is it? Gold coins? Rubies? Junk? That junk, Sam, is all that's left of Archibald's last great voyage to the Arctic Circle. He was a true pioneer, a trailblazer. He was... Insane? According to this, they stuck him in a mental hospital and pretty much threw away the key. Great. I'm descended from a madman. Hey, hey. No one ever proved there was any actual mental illness. My father told me he was just traumatized. On planet Earth, the energy signature of the All Spa is at its highest. I found local camouflage and an alternative way to communicate. So who is this guy they're sending in? A specialist. That's all they told me. Seems he's to be in overall charge of the operation. Mm, say, that's Oppenheimer, isn't it? What's the connection? He was part of the original think tank, set up to analyze and apply the science behind MBE-1. MBE-1? Yep. How else do you think we won space race? So all these... Gentlemen, sorry to keep you waiting. I am Agent Simmons. Right, the specialist. And this? This is bait. Where are we headed? New Mexico. An old Cold War bunker. It's been adapted for our use in exactly this kind of scenario. And you figure you can just reel him in? Absolutely. NBE-2 is here for the same reason NBE-1 was. He's looking for the cube. And we are gonna let him think he found it. That simple, huh? You just wait for him to show up, then tag and bag. Yeah, it's that simple. Look, it's not like we don't know what we're dealing with here. Transmissions from deep space validate my biggest fears. The Decepticons are not far behind. of intelligent life, nonetheless. We'll need to proceed with caution. Fine. As long as we get to kill something along the way. Say again, Bravo, Echo 9 or 6. I repeat, I have an unidentified impact within the Raptor-designated test area. I'm detouring to investigate. Bravo, Echo 9 or 6, please give us your current course and position. Roger, Control. I switched to Barry. What the? I have what I need. You can go now. Report! Blackout here. Planet fall was clean. No witnesses. Local camouflage enabled. Barricade. Yeah, same. Well, no living witnesses. What's our next move, Starscream? Lock onto my position and reunify. Then... We find ourselves the old spark. And Megatron. Right, yeah. Him too. What is it? 
An isotope, derived from the subatomic matter of the cube. It's artificial, of course. Last time someone tried to actually subtract matter from the cube itself, well, Three Mile Island, anyone? So this isotope is giving off the same sort of energy signature as the cube? Almost identical. And when an NBE-2 picks up the scent, we'll be ready. are safe, they're coming here. Two days now, and nothing. Maybe only the real deal will do. Patience, patience. We've waited over a hundred years for this. Another day or so won't hurt. Uh-huh. You know something, Agent Simmons? The more time I spend with you, the more I think this is... Well, personal somehow. You could say bagging NBEs runs in the family. Wait, you aren't. Ever since that first one came out of the ice under the watchful eye of my great-grandfather, it's been a waiting game. Sir, Delta 7 I reports a positive sighting. NBE 2 is within the perimeter. Alert all TAC teams, but tell them to hold position. No one is going to engage until I give the signal. Yes, sir, I'll... MM, go ahead, Delta 7. I said quite an Understood. What is it? Local law enforcement in pursuit. Get rid of them. Invoke whatever national security protocols you see fit, but have them break off the pursuit now. Yes, sir. According to this, none of the New Mexico divisions has a unit in that area. Out of state? No, nothing. <sighs> it's another one. NBE-3? Or more. So much for the element of surprise. All teams converge on the acquisition site. Target is now an MH-53 helicopter. I repeat, an MH-53 helicopter. Starscream, whatever's down there, it's not the old spark. This is a setup. Intelligent and prepared me. I'm starting to like it here. Ready, catch nets, and prepare for cryo and mobilization. Roger that. Day. Sir, we've lost Apaches 1 and 2. Have the other squads move in. But sir, do it! I could do this all day, but it occurs to me. If these beings knew enough to simulate the Allspark's resonant energy signature, it's likely they know where the actual Allspark is. You keep them busy, Starscream. No! Oh, what's happening? Something's uh, in our network. It's going through our security firewalls like they weren't there. Break our connection to the S7 mainframe. Purge all on-site systems. Do it! Now! Damn. Starscream, they cut me off. Get anything? Not much. A name, Sector 7. Otherwise, it's a dead end. Maybe not. Barricade? I was tracking an Autobot in local camouflage. Only, he got wise to me before I could take him out. And? And? Now I figure to maybe cut him loose, let him run. No telling how long he's been here on this planet and what other leads he may have. So, we sit back and let him lead us to the Allspark. Do it, but make it look convincing. We'll be right